Austin's like the crazy kid in the family that wants to like go see bands or go be in bands and paint things and draw and disrupt like what's going on. What's different about Austin is the uniqueness of every single person that lives here. It's all walks of life, it's all ages. It feels like home. There's so much, there's so much personality to Austin. I, I don't think you can break it down. It's different everywhere you go in Austin. Low Austin has a different vibe than over here in Packers Corner. Everything is like different pockets of Austin has different personalities. I used to come in when I was like a teenager. Uh, we would just go shoot pool, go to the restaurants, and just kind of hang out, you know. It's regular teenage stuff, you know, just being bad. I came here and it made me grow up. Alston essentially made me grow up. I had to figure out who I was on my own. I was by myself and it made me who I am now. It's not just some faceless corporate people there who are just filling in their shoes. So there's a quality of that experience of shopping in Austin that you don't get anywhere else. I think there's just a certain energy in Austin that made me gravitate towards this area. I think Austin just has that authentic feel. I don't feel like there's no other place in the city of Boston where artists are valued as much. A lot of the art is showcased on buildings, even on my building in Austin. It's real people running these shops, there's real people on the streets. That's probably the underlying tapestry that, that makes Austin so authentically Austin than unique. I love Bright Music Hall. I love Paradise Night Club. I think those bring a lot of new shows, new artists, keeping the culture intact. When I walk down the street, I am always going to see someone I know. And there's something really warm about that. I know I have a friend wherever I go. My favorite thing to do in Austin is just to walk around and, you know, like, hey, come in, let's grab a bite, let's drink, grab a drink. You can literally go through Austin and drop into like seven different small businesses within an hour and have like the best time of your life, easily. If you want like authentic home cooking Korean food, you will go somewhere like Korea Garden or Seoul Jangto, and there's also one on Kham Ave called Seoul So Long Tang. You have different cultures, different ethnicities, and the food just riches the culture in Austin. You know, you have the Taste of Austin that we participate every year, right? So that's just a testament to our, not only us being trailblazers, but our culture is popping. The diversity is that we have a lot of like Korean owned businesses, delicious food, it's incredible. But you have the Witchy Crystal store downstairs, ritual arts that is also really fun. I think there's a real revival happening. There's clubs opening up, there's artist places opening up, there's galleries opening up, there's affordable housing and workspaces for artists. So I think like the next 10 years, we're really gonna see like a renaissance here in Austin. There's always that energy in Austin, which is exciting. And there's also a karaoke place. And then there's also a Han, which kind of has a nightclub feel in Austin, which is nice. So you don't have to go all the way to downtown. You could get that feel in Austin. And then maybe after come to Kim's Poppy and eat, you know? Number one, you have to go to a show. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a venue, but you gotta crash someone's party and go to a show. Second thing is you gotta have a drink at the Silhouette. You, you gotta bask in the feeling. You gotta smell the Alston. And third, but not last, you gotta come to Rock City Peace and check us out. Celebrating just being alive, because it's a young community full of people. Walk up and down the streets, get a bite to eat, go sit in one of the places, go to one of the local bars and sit down and, and just get a drink, go to the patio or the draft. Just come here and live a bit of life.